you in the love and the light of the infinite creator. Australia determined to forcibly vaccinate by intentional and controlled release of aerosolized GMO vaccine. By Dave Mihulovic. The Office of the Gene Technology Regulator, OGTR, is on its way to approve a license application from Pax Vax Australia, Pax Vax, for the intentional release of a GMO vaccine consisting of live bacteria into the environment in Queensland, South Australia, Western Australia and Victoria. According to the regulator, it qualifies as a limited and controlled release under Section 50A of the Gene Technology Act 2000, the Act. Pax Vax is seeking approval to conduct the clinical trial of a genetically modified live bacterial vaccine against cholera. Once underway the trial is expected to be completed within one year, with trial sites selected from local government areas, LGAs, in Queensland, South Australia, Victoria, and Western Australia. Pax Vax has proposed a number of control measures they say will restrict the spread and persistence of the GM vaccine and its introduced genetic material, however there is always a possibility of these restrictions failing and infecting wildlife and ecosystems. Aerial vaccines have used in the United States directed towards animals by the use of plastic packets dropped by planes or helicopters. Sanofi who is one of the largest vaccine manufacturers in the world, has subsidiary companies such as Muriel Limited who manufacture Abril, an oral live virus poisonous to humans yet distributed wildlife in the masses. West Nile virus spraying in 2006 Michael Greenwood wrote an article for the Yale School of Public Health entitled, Aerial Spraying Effectively Reduces Incidence of West Nile Virus, WNV, in Humans. The article stated that the incidence of human West Nile virus cases can be significantly reduced through large-scale aerial spraying that targets adult mosquitoes, according to research by the Yale School of Public Health and the California Department of Public Health. Under the mandate for aerial spraying for specific vectors that pose a threat to human health, aerial vaccines known as DNA vaccine enhancements and recombinant vaccine against WNV may be tested or used to protect the people from vector infection exposures. DNA vaccine enhancements specifically use Epstein-Barr viral capsides with multi-human complement class II activators to neutralize antibodies. The recombinant vaccines against WNV use rabbit beta-globulin or the poli, a signal of the SV40 virus. In early studies of DNA vaccines it was found that the negative result studies would go into the category of future developmental research projects in gene therapy. During the studies of poly, a signaling of the SV40 for WNV vaccines, it was observed that WNV will lie dormant in individuals who were exposed to chicken pox, thus upon exposure to WNV aerial vaccines the potential for the release of chicken pox virus would cause a greater risk to having adult onset shingles. California aerial spraying for WNV and SV40 in February 2009 to present date, aerial spraying for the WNV occurred in major cities within the state of California. During spraying of Anaheim, California a Caucasian female, age 50, was exposed to heavy spraying while doing her daily exercise of walking several miles. Heavy helicopter activity occurred for several days in this area. After spraying, she experienced lightheadedness, nausea, muscle aches and increased low back pain. She was evaluated for toxicological mechanisms that were associated with pesticide exposure due to aerial spraying utilizing advanced biological monitoring testing. The test results which included protein band testing utilizing protein-coupled response PCR, methods were positive for KD45. KD45 is the protein band for SV40 simian green monkey virus. Additional tests were performed for Epstein-Barr virus capsid and cytomegalia virus which are used in bioengineering for gene delivery systems through viral protein envelope and adenoviral protein envelope technology. The individual was positive for both. 
indicating a highly probable exposure to a DNA vaccination delivery system through nasal inhalation. Pentagon document revealed aerial vaccination plans in the quarterly Funvax review in June 2007. The report lists the objective of a project, listed as ID. 149AZ2 is a preparation of a viral vector that will inhibit decrease the expression of a specific disruption gene, VMAT2, within a human population. It further indicates in the abstract that six methods of virus dispersal were tested including high-altitude release, water supply release, insect transmission, and various methods of diffusion. Get involved and meditate with us every Sunday. Instructions at 2012portal.blogspot.com Remember, like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash the event is coming soon. Be sure to visit our new website at theeventiscomingsoon.com We have all the up-to-date intel and information about the event and disclosure progress. Theeventiscomingsoon.com by subscribing to our channel, you will receive notice of our newest videos. This way you will always receive current information about the event and disclosure. Be sure to tell your friends also to subscribe and share on social media. If you like this information, please subscribe to The Event Is Coming Soon. We leave you in the love and the light of the One Infinite Creator. Go forth and rejoicing in the power and the peace of the One Creator. Victory of the Light.